Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smita. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this simple soft glam using a $3 eyeshadow palette which I recently discovered at the drugstore and absolutely love it. But before we get to the eye makeup, let's finish up the base. For primer, I'm going to be using the Almay Skin Perfecting Comfort Care Primer. This is a moisture locking primer. If you especially have dry skin like me, this primer really helps. It visibly firms and smoothens out the skin before you apply anything else over it. During this season, because of eczema, I tend to get that discoloration on my face. So I'm going to quickly color correct using the Coastal Sense Conceal Palette. I'm just using the peach corrector in areas where I feel like I can even out the skin a little bit, like around my mouth and under my eyes. And before I use the foundation, I'm going to quickly set this with the Airspun Translucent Loose Powder. All you need is very little just so the product absorbs it and sets and doesn't mix with the foundation that's coming up next. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Screen Queen Liquid Foundation by Milani. I'm going to quickly blend it out using a damp sponge by Amazing Cosmetics. As you can see, it looks a little bit light on my skin because I've tanned so much when I bought it. It was the perfect shade, but now it looks a little lighter, but not a problem because we are going to be contouring and adding some dimension so at the end of the day it's going to even out. This foundation is pretty lightweight and has a buildable light to medium coverage and as you can see it gives you that luminous skin finish which I absolutely love. And now we'll be adding that dimension using cream contour. I'm using my favorite contour stick from the drugstore. This is the Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. So easy to use. You just apply it like a stick foundation in areas where you want to contour. For me, it's going to be the hollows of my cheekbones, my jawline, my forehead, as well as my nose. And it's very blendable as well. You can either use a sponge, your fingers, or a brush. I personally prefer a kabuki brush because of the seamless blend, but of course you can use whatever you're comfortable with. And then I'm going to use the Milani Concealer in the shade 145 to highlight the high planes of my face as well as to conceal in areas where I have uneven skin tone like my dark circles and on my lids which will also be a base for the eyeshadows and I'm going to quickly blend everything out with a damp beauty sponge. I'm going to quickly set my face using the new Physicians Formula Press Powder and I'm in the shade Medium. And to lock my base makeup in, I'm going to be using this Setting Mist. This came as part of the Wet n Wild's collaboration with Bretman Rock. To fill in my brows, I'm going to be using the Artist Brow Pencil. This one's from Folklore. As always, I like to brush my brow hair downwards with the spoolie so I can clearly see on top and fill it up. And then I use the spoolie to brush my brow hair upwards so I can fill up the lower part of my brows. Now for the eyeshadow palette that I can't wait to show you 
these retail for three dollars it's the bite size palette from elf i picked up a couple different ones so let me know if you want me to create more looks with those if you already have this you might as well practice this look with me i'm starting with this lighter brown shade to soften my crease so this is going to be my transition shade i'm going to be applying it just above the crease area using a blending brush by folklore And then I'm going to increase the intensity at the crease using a deeper shade of brown. But I'm not using too much color because I still want it to be a soft glam. Using a pencil brush, I'm going to smoke it out in my lower lash line as well to soften it. Now I'm going to pick this beautiful silver shimmer to apply directly on my lid using a flat shader brush by Colourpop. I'm using a dry brush. I haven't even wet the brush and as you can see the color payoff is so darn good. And then using a blending brush, I'm going to soften this at the crease because I don't want it to look like a perfect cut crease. I just want it to look soft. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Gel Liner in black. And to apply it, I'm going to be using my favorite liner brush from Carity. This is the E21. I'm using a little bit more of that silver shimmer to highlight my inner corner as well as brow bones. For lashes, I'm going to be using Bay by Colourpop, but before that I'm going to prep my natural lashes by curling it and applying a coat of mascara. Here's a look at the before one more time and here is the completed eye look. Now let's finish the rest of the face. From the BH Cosmetics palette I'm first using this contour shade to lightly go over my cream contour just for that extra dimension. And for blush, I'm going to be using this shade, applying it with a Wet n Wild powder brush. If you would like to know more about blush placements according to face shapes, I'm going to link that video right in the description box below this video. For that light overall glow, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome. What a beautiful drugstore highlighter. This is worth every penny. My lips are going to be pretty simple. I'm just using a brown nude lip liner by Milani in the shade Most Natural. I'm going to be using it in the borders as well as filling in my lips with it. And here's the finished look and this is proof that you don't always need expensive products to pull off an expensive looking look. Can you tell this was a $3 eyeshadow if I didn't tell you? Let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're new here please consider subscribing. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Don't forget to check out the description box right below this video for all the product details and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Love you guys so much. Bye bye.